get the idea there, and then the next switch, of course, is the water. And uh, we got the little rain gauges in here, and, and so it gives us a pretty good idea when we get to that point. Let's see if we got all kinds of pressure. Those in front, can you see how much pressure is on? Well, let's let it. Let's let it. Okay, now what is it reading? Yeah, the gauge is it? Just a few. A couple pounds. It's not much. Okay, so you want to try to keep that real low. Otherwise, you know, it's just too much pressure to, uh, to use in this kind of demonstration. I'm talking like I know what I'm talking about. I only ran it one time. <laughs> <laughs> I've only run it once, and then obviously I ran it, I ran it uh, the day before, too, you know, or a couple days before, just to see that everything is functioning. Uh, to see that I could get the water to come out and see what the soil did and, and those type of things. <laughs> so we're starting to get a little bit of water in the um, gauges now. Uh, an inch of water is probably going to take four minutes. Just step back a little bit. Sure. But that's about as slow as I can That's do. fine, right there. I'd like it to go actually a little longer, but, but that's about as slow as I can get. So it looks like water's running off the season long grazing first. Yeah, we got some water coming through the bottom. Okay. Well, before I had done it, I. What do we got happening in these front containers? Compaction from the seasonal rain or seasonal grazing, you think? Does that surprise you a little bit? Not really. Most of the rotation is just sucking everything up. The no-till cropland is soaking up quite a bit of water, letting it infiltrate, I see. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I had some of Gabe Brown's uh, no-till cropland in there, and it's not much of a challenge when you put his land in there. You know, everything infiltrates through. And, so let's switch that out. See what this one, what this one will do. Just like a pole. He's not moving around. Any observations on what's happening on this first one here? Everything's infiltrating. First two, we can't get any runoff yet, can we? Mm. Now we got infiltration occurring in this one, but not this one. Mm. Is that the great technical of this uh, as you run that? Is that what you're doing another time? That's, that's kind of what's happened before on this particular run. We used this one at the grass exchange last week. You can run you can run these a few times. Eventually you gotta you get more than one operation on this. Jay, does it look like the conventional till is actually splashed into the next can? That's where I thought. And is is that where some of the, the dirty runoffs come from? Or? Possible. So, sometimes the other thing you got to be really careful about is sealing up the edge. Yep. If I can don't, see that's where it's coming from. If you from don't too. seal up the edge, you get some of that get rain impact. Better. You get impact. Yeah. You're getting rain impact on the bare soil and splashing of the dislodged soil itself. Mm -hmm. You're having any soaking yet? No, you get a lot. Yeah, it's splashing on the back white panel there. Splashing on the back. Can't tell in the camera. But it also tells the other thing it tells me is we need work yet. To, you know, we need this is a five year field, it needs some more work. Yep, stuff's gonna be left there. But I wanted to see that. Too. Thank you. I wanted to see if it made any progress. Five years, five years ago, it would have gave this one a run for its money. No cover. We are getting infiltration. That's that's the primary difference. Yeah, the we other don't have one any is infiltration. Too. Not infiltrating yeah, at all. Slaked and sealed up pathways yeah. down. Yeah. How does water get into the profile? Four spaces. 
four spaces. So Conventional tillage spaces. on the right is not infiltrating at all. No till on the left is infiltrating. Season long grazing on this field is runoff. <laughs> Native rangeland infiltrating on I heard somebody say something about aggregate stability, and that's a, a big thing here, you know, that we're looking at, and, and it, it's been referred to, and, and I like refer, referring to it as, a, as microbial engineering. These microbes have engineered an environment in the soil that is favorable to themselves, but also favorable to the plant that they use to get their carbon source. So they have to create, and they work together to form the soil aggregate. And um, you get aggregates that can be We are at two inches of rain on these plots. Form around where the soil will be the right side of the gauge. Oh, one inch, one inch of rain. And then it'll start, start like a snowball, will start building an aggregate. And then we need those aggregates to get stable. Now I gotta start the video over. That's where right. we're gonna see some differences between the systems that have cover crops and into the systems that are in range because um, from some of the research that I've been looking at, one of the things that we're finding is it takes that influx of carbon for a longer period of time and a more consistent annual influx of carbon for the microbes to make the biomass. Conventional tillage like still has not infiltrated any water. So the first thing the fungi are going to do, and these microbes are going to do, is they're going to try and create an environment that's going to be favorable for them. To Seasonal grazing still continues to be rolled.